Now, no matter how cynical you are about the media, and you ought to be pretty cynical, it may not have occurred to you that they're literally for sale. The national news media can be bought. Give them enough money and they will cover you favorably. And then they will attack anyone who disagrees with you. But that is, is of course, true. And the stories around FTX, the crypto scam, and Pfizer show that very clearly. So if you ask journalists about this, usually they seem, well, ashamed, because that's prostitution, not journalism. But Politico, which is a left-wing political blog in Washington, is not ashamed at all. If you send Politico enough money, they will run your ads and then publish stories attacking anyone who criticizes you without disclosing their conflict of interest at any point. Now, they've been doing this for quite some time. It's an open secret in Washington. They're not the only ones who do it. But we just noticed because they attacked us just the other day. They wrote a piece called Why Whale Deaths Are Dividing Environmentalists and Firing Up Tucker Carlson is if you have to be some kind of right winger to care about the unexplained deaths of the biggest mammals on earth. Lots of whales die, it's fair to ask why. But shut up, says Politico. We have no idea why a dozen whales just turned up dead on the beaches of New Jersey. Does it have anything to do with the construction of wind turbines off the coast? That's speculation, Politico reports. Probably climate change. So the story was ridiculous, but what we didn't get at first was that Politico was paid to run it. Politico is taking a lot of money from the corporations who manufacture and profit from commercial wind turbines. Politico has been running this ad on behalf of the Danish wind power company Orsted. It appears on Politico's website. It looks like a news article, but it's not. No, it's an ad. You wouldn't know. You're not supposed to know. It's supposed to fool you. Here's the headline. Offshore wind, the green energy panacea with some hurdles. Oh, what? Just a few, like killing all the whales. No problem. Just a little hurdle. That's how the fake article begins. Quote, the EU will have to dramatically boost its production of renewable energy to meet its Green Deal targets. Enter offshore wind. <laughs> That's the news story on Politico. They're prostitutes. And they're not even ashamed. So we reached out to them today and asked, well, why didn't you disclose the fact that you're a hooker? Sorry, that you're taking money from offshore wind turbine manufacturers in your article about offshore wind turbines. <laughs> they don't want to answer that question. <laughs> oh, shut up. You're not supposed to notice because we've given up on nature. It doesn't matter. What matters is our intent because we're God. But if you are paying attention, you may have noticed that the largest mammals in the world are dying for no obvious reason and washing up on the shores of the mid-Atlantic states. Just happened again. What's going on? We've got an update next. We're living in an age when the precise opposite is true of almost every claim you hear in public. So it probably shouldn't shock you that the people who care the least about the natural world are self-proclaimed environmentalists. They're happy to wreck it for profit. They make the oil companies look like, look like deep environmentalists. And if you doubt that, take a look at what's happening off the East Coast of the United States. So-called green NGOs, supported of course by the people they give money to in the Biden administration, are backing the construction of massive offshore wind turbines that appear to be killing large numbers of whales. In just the last two months, at least 10 dead whales have washed ashore in New York and New Jersey. And on Monday, it happened again. A 35-foot male humpback whale died and washed up on Lido Beach in Nassau County in Long Island. Bruce Blakeman is the county executive of Nassau. He joins us tonight. Mr. Blakeman, thank you so much for coming on. So this Thank seems you, this seems like one of those stories that since liberals want to save the whales or did when I was a kid, you'd think we'd be getting an awful lot of attention, but it seems like nobody wants to talk about it. Why is that? Well, first of all, I became very concerned when seven whales washed up on the shores of New Jersey, because obviously we're just miles from New Jersey. Right. And uh, then when I found out yesterday that uh, a whale had washed up on our shores here in Lido Beach in Nassau County, obviously I became concerned because I know that there is construction taking place out in the ocean. And I think that when you have so many of these large animals that wash up on shore dead, that we now have to take a pause and investigate why is that happening? We've got to find that out because sea life is an important part of living in Nassau County. We've got whales, we have seals, we have dolphins, and we've got tremendous fishing here. People move here because they want to enjoy the beaches, the wildlife, and the water. So uh, it, it's a concern and it bears investigation. 
Well, I would say, and it's it's very odd considering that if you want to move your cows into a new pasture and some rare salamander is found there, the federal government shuts it down. They're very uptight about killing animals. And it's, that's not all bad, by the way. But here, the biggest mammals in the world are dying in an unexplained way. And there's no curiosity. I just think it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Well, yeah, you know, listen, there are a lot of people that are disingenuous. Uh, they can't find a balance. It's like talking about going all electric. Um, that would be a danger to our America, the way that we live. Uh, there'll always be fossil fuels, at least in my lifetime. And uh, certainly alternative energy is important as well. And you have to have alternative energy. But the fact of the matter is there's got to be a balance. And basically, there are people who can never strike that balance unless it's in order right. to their benefit. And in, in this case, uh, I'm quite surprised that there aren't more environmentalists and certainly people who are involved in protecting sea life and animals uh, speaking out about this and, and at least asking for an investigation as to whether or not there's any causal relationship between these whales dying and the construction and the sonar that's being used. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of Americans who care deeply about the natural world, about the environment, but the professional environmental groups are prostitutes and shills, obviously. Um, if you're destroying the environment, you're not saving the environment, I would say. Anyway, Bruce Blakeman, I sure appreciate your being willing to talk about this in public. The Nassau County Executive, thank you. Thank you, Tucker.